Okay, this here we're going to make a very easy house. We're going to make a large block, pull that up. Now we're going to take the no, we're going to take the line tool and do that. And we're going to draw another one midpoint. Yeah. Now we're going to take the move tool and pull up a roof, scoot it back some. We're going to take the line tool and do that number. And do the same on this other side. Yes. Now we're going to take this and mark a center point like that. That's right. That was done with the line tool. Now we're going to take the move tool, click on one of these in points, sort of pull it over to the center point, the corners of the roof. Now we can get rid of the central marking place. Now you have a nice little roof. Now we're going to take this and um, pull it like that so that it says golden section. But we're going to make one with a curved top, so we're going to get rid of the top one. Then we're going to take the curve tool and pull up an exact, exact half circle. It's a little tall, so we might scale it down with the scale tool. Uh huh. There. Now we're going to take this, push it in just a hair, and then we're going to hide it. Now we've got a little door. Okay. Now we're just going to make some windows. Just the square tool. They don't have to be the exact same size. So I never are. Okay, now we're going to do this. Now you don't want to pull... You don't want to do it like that. Because notice how that's bold. You don't want it to be bold. You want it to be skinny, so you do this, stop there, and then do it right there. Alright, now I'm just going to take this. Now for windows, I like to use the translucent, but they should have put a transparent. We're going to do sky reflection. Just sort of paint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now... Let's give it one other quick thing. A sort of shade. So I drew that square. I'm now going to take the push pull tool and pull it out some. Now I get to look at the bottom. Do this. See that little square? Yeah. I'll zoom in in case you can't. Now I'm going to take the line tool and draw a line all the way across here. Now that's an exact square. Now I'm going to do this. It says, that yellow bar says square. Now I'm going to get rid of that line with the eraser tool. Now I'm going to take my push-pull tool and sort of pull down a, the columns. I'm going to do the same thing with that. Now in order to get it exactly lined up with the bottom of the house, I'm going to sort of drag this onto the face and then let go because that way it's more accurate. Well, so far we've got a pretty okay house. Like I said, this is going to be simple. Now for the garage. Sort of draw a rectangle of any size. Do the same thing for the door. Now, in this one, if you want it to be the same width of the door, we're going to drag it to this edge here. See? Now, all we're going to do is leave it there. <laughs> yeah. And you can stop here if you like, because this next step is, well, you can stop here because it at least looks like a house but I'm gonna keep going
Now we're going to take the square tool and draw a square on on the roof, on the side of the roof. Pull it up some. Now that's supposed to be a chimney. Look at how slanted it is. So I guess we are going to have to straighten it out. Now it doesn't have to be exactly straight. So I'm going to take this move tool and then move the edges sort of like that. Yeah. Now like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. But it at least has to look even. Now let's sort of give it, like, hollow it out. I'm going to take the offset tool again. And I'm gonna make, like, do that. Now I'm just, now we're going to take the section plane tool and click on the side. Now look at that. This makes it a lot easier to do deep push pulls like this. Now we can just sort of get rid of this plane with the eraser tool. Look at that. Well, there's the chimney. Um. Okay, now you can just sort of go crazy with your house. Decorate it. Because I would consider this house to be finished. So, there you have it. Let's look, let's rotate around it with this. Yep. If you followed that, and if you took notes, or if you did it as along with the video, pausing it after each step, then you've just created a house. Pretty sweet, isn't it?